Hello, 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 everyone. How are you doing tonight? Today was the launch of the spring summer catalog, and it has been crazy. Every designer wanted to order, and who knows how many customers were ordering. And it took, I started to order at 9 o'clock, and I didn't even get my order in till like 1.30, almost 2, because everything kept crashing, and there just kept being problems. And I, then after I ordered, things showed up in the cart that said that were sold out, or they weren't even showing there. So there were still some things, other things that I wanted to get one of. So I don't know yet if I'm going to, reorder i can't just have them add it to my shipment which is crazy but that's how it goes we had a lot of crazy designers wanting wanting product so way cute new stuff so let me check and see who's on and make certain i'm on today's uh project is the light up love in a jar and this is the love we're using we don't have that one anymore but it's very similar to this one we still have this one they're almost identical except for this other one just doesn't have the heart on it so and i have them both but i had this one out so let me have you look at that for a minute. I'm also going to use a heart from the vintage truck uh, transfers. I'm pretty sure that's where the heart is that I'm going to be using. So let me let me get in here to Facebook and. See if this is live and I'll get it shared. Yeah, it looks like it's live. And so let me share it real quick. This is always a little tricky here. And I realized um, now I don't know which group I shared that to. <laughs> Might get shared twice. <laughs> I realize today I have an extra group in there. I'm going to have to go in and see if I can delete that because it's confusing me. So just one more share and then I'll be ready to see who's on. That's not. Okay. I let my husband get his own. I doesn't seem to. I can't figure that out tonight. So I'll let him share it to his timeline. Because he is home and. I think that he's on. Let me let me check and see who's on there and see if I have any comments. So welcome, welcome. Um, if you can see the back part of my wall, I have taken a couple of the to bigger totes out and just put a small one. So they're half. That way you're hopefully not seeing quite so much and I can display a little bit more behind me. Uh, I plan on getting those 
up on the wall a little little ways not way high but a little ways so I just have to work on that my rooms I finally got my containers and my room still a work in progress when you keep tearing it apart it doesn't help so but welcome welcome if you're on tonight please like share and comment and let me know you're here and if you went and looked through the all the new transfers whether you ordered something or didn't order something please let me know what your favorite things are in the new catalog I would love to know I was able to order a lot of things because I had some designer dollars so I'm excited about that and I will be able to show you some lives so let's move on we will others may pop in on us so I was trying to find my board and bases and you'd think they'd be right here where I thought they were but like I say when you tear your room apart it starts being hard to find things and they might have been in the other room so I wasn't having much luck but all of a sudden I saw my jars that I had bought and so I thought oh I could do the love in a jar so let me get to the table view and we will discuss what's on the table so I will pull this transfer off but this is a jar that I got at Hobby Lobby you can get jars at any of the craft stores and I filled this jar with some white balls and some hearts. I may decide just to put the hearts. We'll decide that at the end. So I'll put that in my lid. Set that kind of off to the side. The other thing we're going to use. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Welcome, welcome. So, the other thing we're going to use besides the love is this little heart. And I'm going to attach that over here and make that red. My plan is to use the gold for the love. And then just the red heart. So, the red heart will be paste. The gold will be ink and then we'll put these little doodads inside and then I have one of my lights and I am going to once we we get it unwrapped I have taken a piece of duct tape just right and mine's green it's not going to show or you could use glue dots the crafty the craft ones are the ones that are going to hold it better and even the thicker ones probably would have been better but i had the tape right there so i thought i'm going to try the tape because nobody's going to see it but that's going to get stuck up inside that lid so you'll just unscrew the lid each time you want to turn it on and then you'll have to screw it back down. These lights have the copper on them. I'll turn that back off so maybe you can see that. I could zoom, zoom in on it here. Can you see how that's copper? So that's, that kind of looks good with this. This is the shimmer copper. It's, the paste is the shimmer copper. Now you're not seeing it because it's, sorry. So let me zoom back out. Well, and. 
we're probably good right there. You see my glue gun a bit, but too much on the table. So, hi Erica, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. You know, I think I'm just going to leave that on. It's pretty stuck. <laughs> so, let me go over the transfer part real quick if you're new on, since I have this on. I have an image here, and we'll talk about what you do. So, on your transfer, you just have a... You've cut your transfers apart, because usually, unless it's just one sheet... There's a line and you cut them apart. And then to use them, you have to peel them away from the paper. But on the back side of that paper, you're going to take a marker. And if it, like that one says wish, you're going to write wish on the back side. That way you know which is the wrong side and you have the right side to stick it back down on. Then you're going to fuzz. So the next one, she's fuzzing on a towel, and she does that three to five times, and then she puts it over on the board or the image that she's working on, and then she chalks it, and then she peels it, and you want to peel f not from the corners. You can start with the corners, but you want to peel evenly from the middle if you... Just peel from one corner, you'll stretch the transfer. So, that is how you do that. So, we'll go back to the table view and we will get started. This should be a fairly quick project tonight. It shouldn't take as long. <laughs> 